Something's driving me crazy about the current state of new 3D printers on the market. Everything from the Prusa Mark IV to the newly announced Bamboo Lab A1 Mini to the ever popular Bamboo Lab P1P. All of these 3D printers can print extremely fast and they can print beautifully. But the one thing that they don't do is show you the actual time that it took to complete those print jobs and it drives me absolutely nuts. Or in some cases, they might actually show you a time, but come to find out, it's not actually accurate. So I think I've brought this up multiple times in different videos, everything from my P1P video to the Mark IV video to even my most recent, which was on the XL, talking about this exact issue where at the end of a print job, for whatever reason, they've now decided to not include that information of how long the job actually took. And I don't understand why it's not there. And yes, I know some of you are saying, hey, you can go in Prusa, whatever the live services or the web, Prusa Connect or whatever that's called uh, to see some of that information. Why isn't it on the printer? Like, why isn't it there on screen once the job's done? Or on the P1P or the P1S, uh, you can go in the Handy app and see that information. Yeah, why do I have to go into the app to see that information? Why isn't it just there on the screen when the job's done? And is that information even accurate or is it showing the estimated time that came out of the slicer? A perfect example of this is for the new A1 Mini, I did this whole Darth Maul skull print here, which turned out absolutely amazing. And I reprinted this skull in the correct color combination here. So in the red and black, and it was a 12 and a half hour print and it shows it there on the screen. But guess what? It wasn't a 12 and a half hour print. It was a 15 and a half hour print. It was off by a good bit. And the same issue I was just recently having with the Prusa XL, where the estimates coming out of that slicer, which everybody said, oh, you can just go off those estimates. No, it was off by a few hours. And that can mean like a big difference to someone when it comes to actually printing out things and understanding how long a print job is actually gonna take you to run that particular print service if I'm planning on selling these items or printing multiple of these one after another after another, that all adds up and it, it's just driving me nuts. And I don't know if I'm the only one that cares about this, but maybe I am and that's why I'm making this video. Another thing that drives me nuts about the P1P and the P1S is that there's no direct reprint option on that screen after the job finishes. Thankfully, with the new touch screen here on the A1 Mini, that is an option, but it's still the print time isn't correct. It's just a stupid little rant that I have here that I wanted to share with you all and I'm like, hoping some updates will eventually come to some of these machines and that we don't continue to see this expanding onto other markets of machines. It's just the dumbest thing to not include that because I wanna know how long it actually took. Just start a timer built into the printer. When the print hits start, start the timer. When it's done printing, hit stop and let me know how long it took. I don't care if it's like a 10 minute startup for the bed leveling and all that and heating and whatnot. That's great, include that all in there or, or don't maybe. I don't know, it's, not, it's only gonna be five or 10 minutes at most, right? But when it's three hours off, that's a massive time difference. <laughs> like it's a huge difference. It can just all add up. I just wanted to share this. Uh, maybe I'm alone here, but I just wanted to rant a little bit. It's because it's driving me crazy and it's happening across multiple printers now. So hopefully we can see a change to this here in the future.